Hello everybody. I would like to today to conduct some tests to visualize the longitudinal wave propagation. I will apply a couple of tests to the system. I will also give an analogy about how you can picture longitudinal waves. And they are very suitable. They can be very, very easily um, understood. And looking from a logical point of view, you can actually follow up everything what I will display here. So the first test, just to give you a brief um, explanation about um, the setup. So this tube is only connected on one side, on the right hand side. There is no connection on the left hand side. So the first thing we do, if we assume it's a pressure wave, um, just picture a water hose and you you open the tap and water flows through the system, you have pressure. So every, so every pressure in the system will be undergoing a kind of turbulence and turbulence will, will cause to a vortex and vortex will cause rotation. So here we have a gas. So the gas is under pressure through the excitation of the bipolar Tesla coil. And what you can see here on the left hand side, that's where the stream hits and you see a rotating plasma field. So this, this rotation is aligned to the coil arrangement of windings and it follows the same kind of rules if you want. I will new, use now um, a permanent magnet, a ferret magnet and will influence these fields. So most of you know that the magnet has a magnetic field and it's closed up on, each, uh, on itself from north to south and most of, uh, well let's say the majority of people think a magnet has it, it has no fluctuation in the field, there is no rotation, it's just permanent there that's actually not the case there are videos existing showing that um, there is a rotation and so you can show that very very easily here in, in the plasma and I will demonstrate that by influencing here the rotation of um, the counter electrode plasma field with a magnet. So here I'm using a standard ferret magnet, not using such a strong one because the field is quite sensitive, so this one's good enough. So let's see what happens if I move it. Okay, let's go close, you cannot see it really. Let me move it, zoom out a bit. So here you can see my hand and the rotation. So that is now at the moment clockwise, if you can see that. Now let's turn the polarity around. That should be counterclockwise. Yeah, let me go if I have it in the right position. It speeds up so fast. Now that is clockwise. Now I have it. That's kind of difficult. Now here you go. That's counterclockwise. Turn it around and clockwise. So the closer it gets, the faster I speed it up. As you can see. So that's clockwise. Turn it around again. Counterclockwise. By the way, my hand has no influence at all unless I go very close. So imagine that's a hose and you press the pipe with your hands like that. Then you influence, of course, the stream of the water. That's what I'm doing here. I influence the stream of the water here by pressing here. But outside, if the water is, let's say, the pressure is coming out, I have no influence here. Nothing is happening here. Unless I get close enough so that I have a feedback to the system. Now using two magnets. And see if I have an influence on the other side. Actually here, on that side, I have not really any influence. Of course I can influence here from a button, from a button, 
because that's causing again the pressure and here you can see that it's rotating counterclockwise let's turn it around no it's not, not that happy I'm actually pulling out as, can, as you can see that I'm pulling out a field pull it over here let's take two magnets now see how nice it is I can I can pull the f complete field out here that's very good to see now so that is literally plasma manipulation via magnetic fields let's turn, the, uh, turn it around I feel on a magnet a pressure like there is some like there is a re reaction like a um, like a magnetic part or iron or whatever it, fe if, if it feels like, like it's moved around it but that's nice to see here do a little different test I mean uh, <clears throat> maybe some of you have seen it already this field is actually creating a vortex and this vortex is also creating an attraction from well I have to assume here from um, a richer energy field or electron field or, or let's say a field um, which can be contributed so it's attracting actually um, objects here in that example um, a piece of aluminium foil to the stream so I hold it quite closely here so hopefully you can see that so if I bring that here in touch that becomes more visible when I keep it in my hand but I do it at the moment like that see it clues kind of I put it away and it glues. It glues a little bit on the field. I will do that then later on with my hand. If you can see it here. Now let's see the energy propagation side. See that? Let's have a look. So if I keep it in my hand, it's pushing actually. So if it's here on on a piece of stick, it's not. It's it's attracting a bit. And it's sparking quite quite a lot okay now let's put it in my hand so I have it now in my hand let's see if you can see that well if I put it here it's quite a strong attraction if I do it with my hand and I think you can see it quite well it's attracted quite well I will not attempt the other test at the end to be honest let's do it on the other, on, on the other side Let's see if you can see that here. You can pull it quite up, quite a lot. It sticks, it sticks to it. And here, I want to go to close. I 
feel a bit of a pressure. It's pushing it away. It's a bit close. I want to go too close. I do it here on this side. Now you can see that nicely here. It's really sticky. Okay, that concludes my video about longitudinal waves visualized via a plasma field. Thank you.